say at this point in time. Howdy, y'all! Welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective with Tara. Hello. We just found out that apparently Lynn is the one who killed us. <laughs> uh, I bet you're interested to see how that goes out. Turns out, huh, Tara? Yep. Yeah. But for now, we have to go to the ki chicken kitchen. It's 10.05 and we're in chapter 7. I just can't get the images I saw at the police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight is the last person in the world I wanted to w want to believe did it. And now I'm here at the place she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant at the police were sticking out as Point X. When I got here, I found the place in ruins. Oh, shit. Indeed. I want a chandelier like that. <laughs> Whoa, what in the world happened here? Oh, the heavens, what do I do? If I had known something like this would happen, I would have paid the poor child more. I would have cooked more chicken for her. I would have sung to her as much as she liked until she had had her feel. Actually, about the singing, she did tell me she had her feel a time or two. The chef seems to be in quite a panic. Anyway, at least it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. Alright, so now we're going to roll this. And look who's here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, look at me! I'm dead! What took you so long? Well, that's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. Isn't it just my imagination, or is she getting more and more brazen every time she dies? Oh, that's because I'm a detective. Now can we talk to you now? Well, and how did we go? You should check out tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D99. Yeah, just like I promised. Actually, I have a few things I want to ask you about, too. Sure, we agreed to use each other after all, right? <laughs> okay, let's, let's swap info then. Okay, so what do you want to talk about first? His murder, point X, or D99's work schedule? Let's talk about the murder first. It seems to be rather pressing. On my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Oh, it was just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Not him, her. There was a security camera set up there at the junkyard where I got shot. The security tape showed me the person who shot me. It was you. No way! You're kidding, right? What do you have to say for yourself, detective? It wasn't me! I didn't shoot you! If I recall, this is what you said about- th This is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure that it wasn't you? Because I told you before! You were supposed to give me some information! Information, huh? Maybe that information is what the reason you shot me. What? What do you mean? Okay, so now we can go to why she shot me. You said you had information on the case I'm looking into. So I would hardly shoot you before I even heard that information, right? I agree, that wouldn't make sense if it was before. Huh? But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? Mm -hmm. I definitely told you something then.
And whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? I don't remember. I don't know. You've got to believe me. Would you remember once and she's alive again? It's <laughs> a good question. After you saved me, I thought I got all the memories back. But maybe I really didn't. You told me something? I can't remember that part at all! You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No! No, I didn't shoot you! Please tell me, what did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? Uh, good question. Anyway, uh, D99's work schedule or point X? Uh, D99, uh, work schedule. Just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard in his cell. But the thing is, there wasn't anything written on prisoner D99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess maybe that means his schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet? Blank? Blank? No! Huh? I didn't think she'd lose it over a blank blackboard. He's going to be executed, isn't he? Mm-hmm. How come you're so upset about an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that back when I was alive, I never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Huh? It, it means something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It's more like he can't work because he's dead. And that's because he's going to be executed. Executed? And that changes to execution. Do you know what the prisoner D99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. That's what they say, but it's not true. He would never- Detective Jow would never do something like that. And a death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Why would they- Not for decades. I wish we were there. Same. Even if the prisoner wants it, like in this case, but... The prisoner wants it? There's definitely something else going on with this case. I just know it. And I have to find out what. If his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now. So this prisoner D99, Detective Jowd, he must be connected to me in some way too. I mean, yeah, he did have- he was painting you. After all, he obviously knows me. And finally, Point X. The police were staking out this restaurant tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? Well, that's a good name for this place. That white suited inspector was casually- was surprised to find out you were just casually waltzing in here. Inspector Cabanella? What in the world made you pick this place anyway? I guess I'd have to say because of you. Me? Huh? Do you remember that note I found? Yeah, I remember the note I didn't get a chance to read. That you couldn't read anyway because he can't read anymore. <laughs> it had a place and a time written on it. The chicken kitchen, 10 o'clock. In other words... I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight. Yep, uh, apparently so. I just had to get that information you were going to give me. That's why I came here. It was the only lead I had left. And this here is point X, so that must mean... The mark the police were waiting for was me? Oh, that's interesting. Very. So, what are you going to do now? Save your ass again. I mean, you can still have your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. All you have to do is not save me. Is this the ending I was hoping for? 
Had I unraveled all the mysteries of me? Fuck no. No, we haven't. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna save you, that's what. You are? I wanna know everything. Who I was, why I was killed. And I'd like to know the who these guys are too. Remember them? <laughs> yep. I want answers and I'm gonna find them. But to do that, I'm gonna need your help. Okay. I won't say thank you, not yet. And I won't say I'm sorry either. But I'll help to see to it. But I'll help see to it that you get your answers. Good. Now I think it's time to go back to the past. I can't leave you lying flattened under a huge chunk of chicken forever, after all. Ugh. Uh, return to the past now. Four minutes before death, the chicken kitchen, 10 p.m. The note said the chicken kitchen, 10 10, 10 o'clock. I wonder who that pointy haired man was going to meet here. What's this? Apparently not very interesting. Mm hmm. This character is known as Memory. That's an interesting name. She, she, and the blue ha and the blue chick is a couple of characters I'd like you to to take over if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Uh, we we won't we won't see memory all that much, but we'll definitely see the blue haired beauty again. Yeah. I mean, not blue haired, blue skinned. Why did I want to say blue haired? Where's my chicken? <laughs> Why is that even there? Can I eat that thing? <laughs> That's probably the funniest line in this game. Yeah. Oh shit. Exactly. Oh. Shit. Exactly. And crush. <laughs> what a bad way to die. I mean, at least it was instant. True. You're just getting going bigger and better with each new death, aren't you? Leave me alone. Can I have a forgot tired of dying the usual ways? But I'll say this, it was a death any detective could be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? The way you save somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that way just the one with the chicken on her head? The next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try one about the size of the waitresses. I'll make a note of that for next time. <laughs> she did say she wanted to eat that chandelier. <laughs> I don't think she meant to fight that way, though. I know. But anyways, if you, had, you, if you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it, you know, the detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. Well, we can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of this whole disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? Go back five minutes before the driver's death? That, that actually, we're actually going to do that at some point. Let me tell you, this, this, uh, this particular uh, mode, this one you can actually fail in a number of ways. Fun! Okay, well, as you say, we shall get started. Right, uh, okay, let's get started. There's actually many, I, it took, this one took me the longest to figure out on the, on the DS. You want more water? Huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't ring the bell. And what was the more water bit? Oh, well, come on, this is your third glass. Okay, yeah, this was a load cake, wasn't it? Kind of like, hey, where's my food, right? 
No, not at all. Besides, I didn't bring it. But I would like to see a bingy my chicken soon. Duly noted. And in the meantime, enjoy a nice glass of water. And we're gonna take over the carafe. And we're gonna follow memory. Trick time again, and we're going to hop onto the chicken cart. I'm hoping, I hope I remember this uh, correctly. Because like I said, I failed this one so many times on the DS. Uh, I believe I'm supposed to listen to these guys. So what do you think, my dear beauty? Do you really think we can trust this deal? Who knows? It's not our job to think about that. Would you believe someone actually managed to cosplay her with that exact hairstyle? No! I can show you a picture later. It's really like well done. It. But those incidents did happen in this country, as you predicted. Uh, yes, and they were pretty amusing too, weren't they? That fellow who sang out the national secrets during a live TV broadcast. And the man who laid siege to the Metro Police Department, taking the top pop dog hostage. Ah, uh, but what if he double crosses us? Uh, it wouldn't be pretty. No, no, he needs to steal too. And we've accepted all his conditions as well. Uh, yes, and uh, thanks to that, we have to be here on this extra little assignment. But as long as I'm paired up with you, beauty, I don't mind. Mm. How do these two... How do these two know about the... How do they know about the cases at Special Prison? Special Prison? The guy who sang National Secrets, the man who held siege to Metro Police. Those cases are classified information. Hmm. I've heard about both of those cases, and recently, too. The perpetrators in those cases are being held at a special facility. That's what the special prison is, but it's not known about the general public. So, Prisoner D-99, Detective Jowd, is one of these special cases, too, huh? These two are talking about the very same cases I heard about just tonight. That couldn't be coincidence, could it? Nope. Hmm. Ooh, what is it, beauty? Why don't we move to a different spot? That table in the back looks good. They're going right over where that guy crashes. <laughs> now you're talking, beauty, my dear. Just what I've been waiting for. A quiet, secluded spot, just the two of us. I wouldn't object to that. All of a sudden, I get the feeling somebody is eavesdropping. My sixth sense is very strong, you know. Oh boy, all this. She's like the only one who can actually sense Sissel. Oh, that's going to make things harder. That's all right, my dear. You don't have to make excuses. Off we go, across the bridge of poultry to the land of love! I don't like this man. As well you shouldn't. <laughs> Just to be clear, anyone- uh, This is not a racist thing or anything, but anyone with blue skin in this game is a bad guy. Fun. What just happened? Did she sense we were here? What? With her sixth sense? <laughs> but you know what has some pretty amazing powers my powers myself. Yeah? Like what? Like Like we're chicken nearby I can tell right away. Congratulations, <laughs> your basic observation skills. That's called a sense of smell. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, at least the situation has changed a little bit now. 
Fate changed. I don't believe in a sixth sense. It's not scientific. You're a ghost. You're a literal ghost, Lynn. Says the <laughs> <laughs> We just said that! <laughs> I love it when games predict what we're about to say. <laughs> but come to think of it, we've been left behind, haven't we? Looks that way. Not having legs is even more convenient, inconvenient than I thought it would be. At least more like not having a body. Yeah. But what are we going to do now? They're all the way over there! I'm telling you, we better shake a leg or we're going to miss what they're saying. It'd be pretty hard to shake a leg not having legs and all. Also, we're on a time limit. Yep. They're still talking about something. I want to hear! Me too! So we now- We also have a timer that hasn't gone down as much as I thought it would. Yeah, it, timer doesn't go down when we're in ghost mode or when we're talking for some reason. So, so now we're going to call memory back. <laughs> and to make sure that she, she gets uh, over there, we're going to... Wait, we can't trick this glass, so I guess we have to talk to... You rang? Oh, I get it. You saw that couple over there. You started to get lonely, right? And so you decided to call me. Aw, so sweet. Forgive me, but I did not ring for anyone. What? Now, could you not stand in my light, please? I cannot see my glass properly. I've been working here for two days, and I've been waiting this whole time for you to notice me. Now, could you stop trying to shake me up and just take the shaking cocktails? Son of a bitch. <laughs> she has a surprisingly short career with this place. And we're gonna yeah, have to... You... We, ha we have to call her back because... Oh, wait, we need to... Ah, uh, that's how we get her. We, we need to call her back because she needs to notice the briefcase and uh, alert alert the man. What we have to do is we have to get the we have to get the glass to fall so she'll look down and notice the briefcase. Oh, you broke that glass just like you did my heart. A broken glass can never be put back the way it was. Just leave it there. At least sweep it up so that way you don't. Somebody hasn't cut themselves. <laughs> I think this guy's just sick of memory. <laughs> you can't leave it. Somebody might get hurt. Exactly what you said. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Doesn't this trunk belong to that couple over there? The only things we allow customers to lose here are their cares. Miss, please go and let them know about the trunk, if you would be so kind. How gallant of you. I might just fall for you, you know? I think you already did. <laughs> Alright, now while memory's gone, we... Odd gal. Uh, I agree. Me too. That's the running gag with memory. Everyone says this. <laughs> uh, and now while memory's away... Ah, crap. We can't get there. We have to wait for Mr. Blue Hair to put the damn glass down. Come on. There we go. And now that we're on the... I'm so grateful I don't play this myself because I'd be so stressed. Yeah. I've been working here for two days and had my eye on you the whole time. I think this might be my last night working here, though. It's been fun! I guess she's leaving this place with her surprisingly short career intact. Okay, now we have to wait for... Uh, he should be here any second. There he is. 
Uh, of all the things to forget, I wouldn't have been. I, it wouldn't have been pretty if I forgot this. Luckily, the That's timer right. is frozen. Thank God. <laughs> Here we are! Finally! I feel kind of bad about eavesdropping, though. Not me! <laughs> I mean, we just delivered their laws to them, after all. You don't know, release that much. What kind of detective says something like that? Fate changed. So now we listen on to them. If they're gonna ever say the speech bubble. There we go. I can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. <laughs> With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay, that's what I love about you. That's what he loves about her? I don't get it either. Now, where were we? All right, who to invite to the wedding? Right. If... If we got married, that is, of course. <laughs> mm. He's sure simping hard for her. Please smack him. We can't talk about that. We can talk about that when we're alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, but aren't we alone right now, beauty? Huh? You think she sent us her presents again? I spy a ladybug. What? A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. It's not a, it's not a it's not a real bug. Oh, it's it, it, it's a spy thing. Yep. Oh shit, we're fucked. We fucked up. No, we didn't. This is supposed to happen. Oh, fun. But I have to be pixel perfect with this next part. What? After all that trouble, it happened anyway. It looks that way. Yes. It's not over yet, though. It's not? What are you talking about? You're not dead yet. No, but I'm going to be in just a few seconds. But before that happens, maybe there's something we can do from here. Alright, so... Once this thing starts swinging, I have to be able to swing this over to that core. Like that! Come on. There. Will going back in time four minutes before the death of the driver solve our hero's problems? Or will Lynn remain forever deceased underneath a chandelier made of chicken? Find out next time on Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Oh yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High, and I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends, Geo Joe 2000 and uh, uh, Luigi Fan 891.